Hello everyone, this is Diaga and today we're hunting a Frostfang Baryoth, of course. <laughs> what else did you expect? Here I'm using the Kiar Fire Switch Axe and I get 100% affinity even without weakness exploit at all, so I can target its claws better. The run's not very clean, but it is what I got. You have fire one stone there to lure it back into the cave. The corridor is awful. And activate protective polish. Another rock to distract it once again. And just wound the wing. I don't go for the engrave here because you can't triple slap its face and then wound the wing. And I feel wounding the wings is a much better deal than the face. At least early on, because I really want to get that trip and slow it down. You can dodge that quite easily by just getting away. And then we get Power Axe which should help with that wing. You can roll along the hip check. I'm not sure if Evade Wind is required for that. I have Evade Wind on 3 from the Safi set. It might be, I'm not sure. Dodge that, since it's not enraged, it only does the circular breath once. You can roll through that easily with Evade Window. Do a Morphing Sweep, but miss the wings quite a lot. Stop to Taunt, so there's the Wing Break. Morph into Sword and let's do some Wombo combos on its face. Finish the Fazia State, shoot and range now, but it didn't. It generally does after it gets tripped. Oh, there's the rage. I messed up and got myself caught into the frost, but I was safe because it was too busy roaring to murder me. Trip for the broken way, go for the morphing sweep, get some nice damage. Here I'm just trying to hit it whatever way I can. <laughs> I'm not really good at focusing burials parts, which is pretty bad to me actually, because it most of its hit zones are pretty bad apart from the head and the tail kind of for cutting damage. I feel like impact weapons get a much better deal in this fight because the wings are a weak spot for impact damage. I just messed up there. I could have rolled through that, but I was too late on pressing the X button. I tried to throw myself into the ice to lure the pulse lamps. I learned that from Zen's Sword and Shield Run. I'll link that in the top right corner and the description. So yeah, baited the jumping attack, dodge it, attack, get the clagger, do the ZS thing to call things. Somehow I end up on its tail. But okay, we got the wound on the way. I use the huge lag on its hip check to resharpen. Since it's enraged, it will do that breath attack twice. And there is the second one. Fortunately, I missed the wing, but I got the head break at least. Got the second wing break. Here, I go for the triangle combos to make sure I don't go into amp. Then I can do a regular discharge into Claw, which wound in the face. If I went out, then it just does the ZSD automatically, so I can't do that combo. I tried to be cheeky with the ZSD there, but it was too far. Rolled too early from that, I thought I'd get away from it. But I guess the wall prevented me from doing so, that's why I didn't like the corridor. Clutch it to the face. Here I went for the enrage. You can do as just with very few ticks before the roar. Come so early, so I get the explosion. Clagger, let's do the Nargakuga thing, clutch the face, let's go and shift the sword, double slash and ZSD. so early to avoid that? I have no idea how that did not hit me and 
death. <laughs> okay, we take those. Roll under it to avoid the icy breaths. And messed up there, but okay, we survived and we still have time to punish the second one. Hot tip for the those two lines of ice at does. The second one does not target you at all, only the first one does. So don't run too far, otherwise the second one will hit you. You can just stay still after the first one and the second one will miss. Messed up on the frost again. Once again, I can at least tank it and then punish the second one. Now roll away. Roll towards it with good timing so we can punish more. Got a clagger as it was trying to flee. So we'll do the Nargakuga special once again. Let go and shift into sword, double slash, ZSD to the face. I hoped I'd kill it now, but I didn't. That's why I went for the full explosion. It was just die, please. It left just to lean back to the nest. I was getting pretty scared here. Because I thought it would hit me away and leave me in the lower area. But fortunately the wing was saved somehow and I killed it in the air, which was cool at least. There is this set. I have a bunch of affinity. It's similar to my Lunastra set. But since I don't have to run Windproof here, I could get Power Prolonger 3. Which was mostly for Power Axe. Elemental Files can get into Amped rather quickly, so it's not very useful on that front. But having Power Axe uptime is pretty nice. Helps with those wings. And yeah, th this was a bit sloppy with the me getting stuck in the frost and hit a lot. But I feel like this small cramped area makes it a bit hard to deal with sometimes. I don't know, maybe I'll get something better. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Okay, KT is coming back this week, so I'm looking forward to that. I still want to get my Sub 7 on her. So hopefully I can get that over the next few days. There's our final time, and as usual, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one, which includes the other run I'm posting today, so watch that too. See ya! Bye-bye!